Hello and welcome to Astronomy and Photography, a new uh, YouTube channel um, in where I'm going to share my astrophotography journey with you. Um, and obviously I've got a very big box in front of me today, so this is an unboxing. Um, it's a slightly unusual unboxing in that this isn't new, this is a, an eBay purchase. Um, so what have we got in the box? Williams Optics, obviously, you can see on the front. Um, let's open the box and find out, shall we? So in the normal style of these things, it's um, double packaged, two cardboard boxes. And then inside that, we have the telescope itself. So let me just rearrange the camera and we'll be able to see what's inside. So what we have inside here is a Williams Optics Z103, bought second hand. Uh, it's in extremely good condition. Um, bought from Tim Cowell at Astronomy ABC. I'll put a link to his channel in the bottom of the video. Um, please do go and check out what he's doing. He's another local astronomer. He's based in uh, Somerset in the UK, doing some great things. He's also running the Astro Imaging or Astro Backyard Imaging Club on Facebook. So check that out as well. Um, and join up if you're a, a fellow amateur astronomer. I'm literally new to this, brand new to this um, hobby of astronomy. Um, so I'm going to start off very gingerly. Uh, and then I'll, once I've learned the basics, then I'm going to try and hopefully move into um, astrophotography. So let's just quickly see what we've got in the box. Obviously we've got the, the telescope itself, a very fine piece of kit. Um, we've got a couple of rings that go on the top here to mount your guide scope or finder scope. Um, it's supplied with the appropriate fixings um, so that we can do that. Also, the advantage of buying it second hand uh, from somebody like Tim, who's looked after it, um, is that it's a known quantity. Um, when I went and picked it up, Tim showed me uh, some of the images that he'd been able to capture with the telescope. And uh, that always makes for a, a reassuring purchase. What you don't get when you... I mean, so, so the, basically you get the telescope and obviously the, um, the guide rings when you buy the telescope new. Um, extra bonus for me when I bought this, um, Tim had already bought the uh, appropriate flattener, which is essential really for when you're doing astrophotography. So we've got the adjustable 0.8 reducer come flat now. It's the flat 6A3 from Williams Optics. So that has obviously saved me a, another purchase. And that's a great thing to have. So I'll, I'll mount this in between the telescope and my camera and I'll be initially taking photos using a DSLR camera. So uh, that will be great, and that that will flatten out the the edges of the field, so it's all crystal clear and sharp. The other bonus feature, which I've got in the box, um, which you don't normally get, is a Williams Optics M63 rotator. So again, that can go on the back end of the telescope, and I'll be able to rotate my image accordingly. On the count, I'll be able to rotate the camera, sorry, so that I get the appropriate image. So that's another great purchase. Um, so I'll get it out of the box and we'll have a bit of, bit of a better look at it.
Right, so here we are. As always, Williams Optics, absolutely lovely piece of kit. This back end here, this is where I can take this piece out. There's some little Allen keys in there. And I can replace that with the flattener. Goes in place there. Um, slightly better, yeah. So, so this gold piece comes off when I'm in uh, astrophotography mode. The flattener goes on there. Um, I can also have the um, camera rotator on there as well, uh, make it quite a, a lengthy thing, and then the DSLR camera goes on the back end there. Um, as always with Williams Optics, the quality is uh, extremely good. Um, Lovely piece of glass in there, really cool. The lid comes with the patented batten off mask. So yes, you've got the, the batten off mask, you may or may not be able to see the uh, shape of it. That goes on there, let's see if we can get a closer shot. Um, yeah, that, that grid line apparently helps you focus on the stars better when, you, when you've actually got the thing set up. So uh, obviously this is the first piece of kit in my arsenal, the telescope. Um, we've got a two-speed focuser. Um, there we go, two-speed focuser. Uh, it extends quite far. Nice feel to it. And then the gold cap is for fine adjustment, and that is super smooth, super smooth. Uh, the other thing you'll notice, it's also got a little uh, thermometer on there to tell me how warm it is. So, very cool indeed. I shall have many hours, many years of fun setting all this up and uh, having a good claim of it. So just pop that on there. So these uh, lovely quality screws. And then this just unfolds, and you can lift the telescope out itself. Again, great quality items. Place that there. Put these back on for a minute. And obviously it comes with a dew shield which you can just undo there. Pop that back on for a minute. And then extend the dew shield as far as we can. And there we go. The Williams Optics Z103. Um, I'm going to have hours and hours of fun with this, I can tell. Just need to get some more bits of kit. So um, stay tuned. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, please consider subscribing. Um, 
as I say, I'm literally just starting off on my uh, astronomy journey. So it, it's not very polished at the moment, that's for sure. Um, but it'll be a warts and all the good things and the bad things I learn along the way. So um, please feel free to, uh, as I say, subscribe and follow the journey with me. Clear skies, everybody.